Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day you have given us. Even now, we are going to read your heavenly verse. Make us understand the verse which we are going to read now. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Now let us read 2 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 to 23. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Oshia, the son of Elah, to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel who were before him. Against them come up Shalmanser, king of Assyria, and Oshia became his servant and gave him presents. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Oshia, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and brought no present to the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Osea, the son of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria and placed them in Hala and in Habor by the river of Gozen and in the cities of Medes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God who had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other God, and walked in the statues of the nations whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and of the kings of Israel which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God. And they built their high places in all their cities from the tower of watchman to the forbidden city. And they set them up images and idols in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burned incense in all the high places as did the nations whom the Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked against and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. For they served idols, of which the Lord had said unto them, Ye shall not do these things. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servant the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened their necks like the neck of their fathers, who did not believe in the Lord their God. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, and his testimonies, which he testified against them, and they followed vanity, and became vain, and went after the nations who were round about them, concerning whom the Lord had charged them, that they should not do like them. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made them melted images, even two calves, and made an idol, and worshipped all the host of heaven, and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, and used divination and enchantment, and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. Also Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the statutes of Israel which they made. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he forcibly removed Israel from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebath king. And Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord, and made them sin a great sin. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did, they departed not from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants, the prophet, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. Amen. Now let us read Amos chapter 1. The words of Amos, who was among the herdsmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. 
And he said, The Lord will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the inhabitants of all the shepherds shall mourn, and the top of Carmel shall wither. Thus said the Lord, For three transgressions of Damascus, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing instruments of iron. But I will send a fire into the house of Azahel, which shall devour the palace of ben -Hadad. I will break also the bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants from the plain of Avon, and him that holdeth the scepter from the house of Eden, and the people of Syria shall go into captivity unto Kir, said the Lord. Thus said the Lord, For three transgressions of Gaza, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they carried away captive, whole captivity, to deliver them up to Edom. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour its palaces. And I will cut off the inhabitants from Hasdoth, and him that holdeth the scepter from Ashkelon, and I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, said the Lord God. Thus said the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyre, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom, and remembered not the brotherly covenant. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyre, which shall devour its palaces. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment, because he did pursue his brother with a sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Teman, which shall devour the palaces of Bozra. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of the children of Ammon, for four, I will not turn away their punishment, because they have ripped up the women with, with the child in Gilead, and they might enlarge their border. But I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour its palaces with shouting in the day of the battle, with a tempest in the day of whirlwind. And the kings shall go into captivity, he and his princes together, said the Lord. Now let us read Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king who would take count of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him who owned his ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had nothing with which to pay, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant before fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, who owned him an hundred denarii, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servant saw that was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after he had called him, and said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgive thee all that debt, because thou besoughtest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was angry, and delivered him to the inquitors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your heart forgive not every one his brother his trespasses. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to read your heavenly verse and thank you for making us understand the verse which we have read now. Help us to forgive others as you forgive our sins and trespasses. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm.